guys, it's Miranda Jones here, back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be, yes, as you see by the thumbnail and title, I'm not speaking about Aberdeen, and that's something new on the channel. I'm speaking about a club that have had an unbelievable season, too unbelievable, in fact, that they are unbeaten. For the whole entire season, they're unbeaten. And today, let's take a look at their story. The club I am talking about is Falkirk FC. Now, Falkirk, as I said, have had a brilliant season. They've gone unbeaten. They haven't lost a game in this calendar year so far. It's been brilliant for them. It's been unbelievable. Under John McGlynn, their manager, he's done magnificent for Falkirk. And I just thought, why not talk about how brilliant Falkirk have been this season? Um, instead of talking about Aberdeen for once on this channel. Let's look at Falkirk's history now. They were promoted into the Scottish Premiership, the top division, in 2004-2005 season, where they were to have a brilliant campaign in the Scottish Premiership, actually winning it one season. And then, yeah... Then they got relegated into the Scottish Championship in 2009-2010 season. Not good for them at all. They were brilliant in the top division, but then they got relegated. Then after just less than 10 years, Falkirk were relegated yet again into the Scottish League One, where they have sat for the past five years. But... This season, it has been brilliant as, again, as I said, John McGlynn as Falkirk manager has guided them to glory and has won them the title. They wrapped up last weekend after Hamilton Aki's drew 0-0 to Queen of the South at New Douglas Park. Falkirk made it even more embarrassing. They beat Montreux 7, yes, 7-1. Seven, We're talking about a game between first and fourth. And they beat them 7-1. It was cruising. Honestly, Falkirk, congratulations. Yes. Falkirk fans hate Paul Hartley, the co-manager. I love Paul Hartley. He's my, he's my mate. We'd, I don't have beef with Falkirk. I think it's a really good club. I think what they're doing. Guiding them. I think they're a mid-table championship team. I think they're a very good team. Um, I, I definitely don't think they deserve to be in League One. Especially with the players they've got, they've got Callum Morrison, he's been brilliant in the season, probably, I think he's one of the top scorers in all four leagues. If I'm not right, they correct me in the comments. Again, they've been unbeaten, they have, no one's beaten them apart from Bonnie Rig Rose in the cup, that was, a, that was a shocker, and TNS, the New Saints, a Welsh team who beat them in the SPFL Trust Trophy semi-finals at the Falkirk Stadium. Talk about their stadium. Their stadium's massive. It does not deserve to be in League One. And I definitely think that Falkirk can get into the Premiership. I think next season, I'll see them going into the Championship. I think they'll get maybe mid-table, maybe just above mid-table. And then the season after, I think, they, I think they're going to fight for a promotion again. Because with the players they get, and they plus to get more money, which will get them even better players. I think they can definitely push for the, the top division where all Falkirk fans want it to be again after a few dull seasons. Here are some of the limbs. Yes, it was a pitch invasion after the full-time whistle at Montrose. After the game, after they sealed it, here are some clips. Yes, they were mental. Pyro on the pitch. Falkirk fans are honestly brilliant. All the ultras, the, I think it's the 1876 boys, something like that. They've been brilliant this season, coming home and away to support their club. I really, really, really do commemorate them. They're honestly a brilliant group. 
and they have brilliant away support even for a Tuesday night coming to Aberdeen for a game they still brought, brought so many fans and I have to say well done because their fan base is brilliant definitely up there in I, not in League One I say in Scotland uh, their fan base is and their ultras are brilliant I've seen clips online on Twitter on Instagram on YouTube of their of their ultras they'd be brilliant definitely bringing a bit of buzz into the stadium and bringing definitely a bit of buzz onto the pitch as you can see by their recent performances comment down below your thoughts on Falkirk do they deserve to be in the premiership in the next few years or do they not will they stay in the championship or will they somehow get relegated back into league one imagine that would be mental to round up this video I just if there's any Falkirk fans watching this, just congratulations. And and Cove play them away on Saturday. I'm, I unfortunately won't be going to that. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please do go down there and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so for every single time I upload a video. On the road to 5k, guys. Let's try and get it before the end of the season. Let's get 5k. I love you guys. See you next time.